When we look at this equation, this tells us that we should have four answers. How are we going to get those four answers? Not sure. What's the first thing that we think about? What factor? What factor? Now, I know this is not a normal trinomial for you, is it? No. Well, let's think about this. Does this factor? Could you get it to factor? Maybe. If this were just x squared, and this was just and this was just x, I could factor that, right? Yes. Now, how would you break down, if it were x squared, how do you break down x squared? X and x. You break it up evenly to be x and x, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think you could break down x to the fourth? X squared and x squared. Let's see if that guy can break down as x squared and x squared. Maybe this will help me out. Now, you know this is going to be nice because if I do inside and outside pieces, they're going to create x squared terms, and that's what I have in the middle. So how would you factor the negative 54? Six and nine. Six and nine is okay, but I need signs. Negative six and positive nine, does that work out? That gives me a negative six x squared in the middle, a positive nine x squared on the outside, so positive yeah. Three x squared. Everything works out. Do you all agree? Yes. Now let's see about getting our answers though. So if I take this guy, x squared minus six is equal to zero. How do you solve that? <coughs> What was that? Uh, uh, square you're going to use the square root property. You've got to move the 6 over, and then you're going to do what? Square. Take the square root of both sides. What are you hearing in the back of your mind? Does it? No. Plus or minus. Plus or minus. You know how many answers you're supposed to get. If you don't have that, something's wrong. So that means that x is equal to what? Plus or minus the square root of 6. Yeah. Right, plus or minus the square root of 6, because does 6 break down anymore? No. No, nope, that's it. So how many solutions do I have so far? Two. I have two. How many more do I need? Let's see if I can find them. So if I take this guy, x squared plus 9 is equal to 0. What do I do here? No. Oh, I'm no one's going to say anything, huh? Look at what you have right here. You can drop. The, you can drop the attitude. <laughs> I hope these videos encourage you to seriously consider whether or not you want to be a teacher. This is what I have to deal with. Real life stuff. And then. <laughs> X is equal to plus or minus 3i. All right. I always forget the right How many solutions do I have? Four. One, two, three, four. Do you all agree? Yes. How many of these guys would you see if you were to graph? No? Two. You'd only see two of these guys, right? You would only see plus or minus the square root of 6 if you were to graph this guy. Where does this guy equal 0? Which, in other words, means where does it hit the x-axis? It would hit it at plus or minus square root of 3. <coughs> you would not see it hitting plus or minus 3i. Now, like in the last problem, I can, s I can just write out all of my answers and list them. I've got negative square root of x, excuse me, square root of 6 positive square root of 6, negative 3i, and positive 3i. So you see you've got 1, 2, 3, and you've got 4 solutions there. <coughs>